In this lecture, I'll discuss some of the motivations for considering existential risks from AI. A point worth mentioning is that AI could someday reach human-level intelligence. As we see in the picture at the right, we see a comparison between a chimp brain and a human brain. The human brain is larger than the chimp brain, but human-level intelligence and a lot of the complex behavior that we observe among the human species might largely be a product of simply scaling up the number of neurons in the neocortex. So while we might think that there's a large spectrum of intelligence between different humans, if we zoom out, it's not necessarily the case that intelligence will stop around human level. In fact, there may not be that much difference between people who we think are smart and people who we think are dumb. So machine intelligence could potentially get vastly beyond human level intelligence. This could be a bit troubling for us because a lot of our power largely comes from our intelligence and our ability to wield technology. Consider, for example, the fate of gorillas. Although they're physically stronger, that isn't what necessarily mattered. What made us able to overpower them was our intelligence. As Jeff Hinton reminds us, there is not a good track record of less intelligent things controlling things of greater intelligence. While one might say that human-level AI just isn't going to happen, it's worth recalling that scientists can sometimes be wrong about these negative predictions about what's possible. For example, Ernest Rutherford said that anyone who looks for a source of power in the transformation of atoms is talking moonshine. The next day, Leo Szilard invents neutron-induced nuclear chain reactions. He says, we switched everything off and went home. That night, there was very little doubt in my mind that the world was headed for grief. Recall that earlier in the course, we've observed that models are not always honest and that they can sometimes lie. While the example we have seen in this course is a toy example and it's not itself dangerous, in the long term, if models still lie and if we're not able to detect that or prevent it in the first place, that could be quite problematic for humans. As we've seen earlier in the course, emergent capabilities are common. Consequently, models can behave unpredictably, and that could possibly, in the future, make them difficult to control. Here's some more examples of emergent capabilities. In this example, larger language models exhibit qualitatively different reasoning capabilities. Roberta succeeds on reasoning tasks where Bert fails completely. And note that the difference between Bert and Roberta is that Roberta is simply just trained on an order of magnitude more pre-training data. Another concern is that power-seeking behavior in AI systems could be instrumentally incentivized. Mahandro in Basic AI Drives reminds us that one might imagine that AI systems with harmless goals will be harmless. This paper instead shows that intelligent systems will need to be carefully designed to prevent them from behaving in harmful ways. And in Joe Carl Smith's report on power-seeking AI, he says that, by default, suitably strategic and intelligent agents engaging in suitable types of planning will have instrumental incentives to gain and maintain various types of power, since this power will help them pursue their objectives more effectively. Power is not just instrumentally incentivized, it's sometimes explicitly incentivized. We can see that some leaders recognize that AI will be quite relevant for securing a nation's power. Here, Putin reminds us that whoever becomes a leader in AI will be ruler of the world. Consequently, nations in any potential conflict or power struggle may explicitly design AI systems to gain power. And now for some bandwagon effect arguments, which mainly just provide evidence of importance and is not in itself a sufficient argument to establish AI risks validity. Uh, Stephen Hawking reminds us that unless we learn how to prepare for and avoid the potential risks, AI could be the worst event in the history of our civilization. It brings dangers like powerful autonomous weapons or new ways for the few to oppress the many. It could bring the greatest disruption to our economy, and the development of full artificial intelligence 
could spell the end of the human race. A popular inventor and co-founder of OpenAI, Elon Musk, says, I think we should be very careful about artificial intelligence. If I were to guess like what our biggest existential threat is, it's probably that. And then he goes on to say, with artificial intelligence, we're summoning the demon, speaking somewhat melodramatically. As AI gets probably much smarter than humans, the relative intelligence ratio is probably similar to that between a person and a cat, maybe bigger. For those of you situate on the left, here's a quote from Hillary Clinton, which says, think about it. Have you ever seen a movie where the machine starts thinking for themselves and that ends well? Every time I went out to Silicon Valley during the campaign, I came home more alarmed thinking about this. My staff lived in fear that I'd be talking about the rise of the robots in some Iowa town hall. Maybe I should have. While making that a campaign issue probably wouldn't have secured her the election, it is interesting to see that top politicians are concerned about this issue. Alan Turing says, once the machine thinking method has started, it would not take long to outstrip our feeble powers. At some stage, therefore, we should have to expect the machines to take control. Norbert Wiener reminds us that, moreover, if we move in the direction of making machines which learn and whose behavior is modified by experience, we must face the fact that every degree of independence we give the machine is a degree of possible defiance of our wishes. The genie in the bottle will not willingly go back in the bottle, nor will we have any reason to expect them to be well disposed to us. However, if we get AI right, we could potentially have great outcomes.